What is going on YouTube Sharp here, Brandy has another video and today I'm going to be doing a Q&A with my girlfriend Linda. Uh, you guys ask me a lot of questions on Twitter and on stream, I usually don't answer them. So I figured, you know what, I'll just tweet out and have you guys tweet me responses uh, using the hashtag as Sharp. And the first one is coming from Enchilada Slayer. <laughs> Uh, it says, is sharp Spanish good or is it straight ass? Mm, okay, well, it's good now. At first, it was pretty trash, I'm not gonna lie. You would say my Spanish is good now? I mean, I, I think it's getting better, that's for sure. I'm getting better. Yeah, you're getting better. A lot better, for sure, for sure. And you're a quick learner, too, so. Uh, the next question is coming from F, F Freaked. It says, how did you guys meet? You want me to explain? You can tell the story. You, you can tell it. So, we met on Twitter. Um, we started off by playing like Smash Bros. He slid into DMs. <laughs> we started playing Smash Bros. I looked at his pictures because I was like, I was like scrolling through his pictures, like, why does he have like no pictures of himself? Like, I wanted to see what he looked like. And then I saw that he had like a picture of like Smash Brothers, and I was like, oh my god, I love Smash Bros. So, it's like, you want to play sometime? And he's like, sure, why not? So we started playing. We played video games a lot, and we were friends for like a good couple months, and then just like. Recently, we started dating, but yeah, long story short, we met on Twitter. Basically, I DM'd you. You were like creeping heavy on my profile. You know, we both like Super Smash Brothers, and yeah. yeah. He got his ass kicked, though. Do what? Yeah, you got your ass beat. This is coming from Fart Fartiplier. It says, who is the funniest person in the house, in your opinion? I guess they're asking you. Mm, I don't know. That's hard. Cause I think you're the funniest guy now. <laughs> Besides you. Good answer. You're the only one that makes me laugh. Damn, so no one in the house is funny. Okay, so the one that makes me laugh the most, I'd have to say, would be... Teddy? Teddy, yeah, cause he's like, really... He's really goofy. He's always doing some weird shit. <laughs> so Teddy. He's so loud too. So it goes me, then Teddy. Yeah. Yeah. This is coming from Head of State. He says, thick sharp or thin sharp? Um, I like thick shorts. <laughs> more comfy, more comfort, you know. Uh, next question comes from Gun Gunrav Gun. Rav, I don't know how to say your name. Gunravit13 says, "Which game do you like to play more, Super Smash Bros. or Mario Kart?" Okay, I used to really hate playing Mario Kart until recently. I, me and him started playing together, and things got really competitive. <laughs> but I used to like be so obsessed with Smash Bros. I would just play it all the time. But now I think I like um, Mario Kart a lot better. I can I can agree with that. The only reason why I would say Smash is just because I'm worse at Smash. So you know, like I feel like it's probably like the same thing with you and Mario Kart. Like you can't yeah. beat me, so like you're trying to like beat me and yeah, get better. Yeah, so it gets really competitive. Are you just gonna agree with that? All right. <laughs> But no, she is a lot better than me at Smash, so like sometimes like I'm sitting there playing, I'm just getting my ass kicked, I'm like, fuck, like I wish I could win one once in a while. But so I, I feel like Mario Kart we're pretty we're pretty even. Like she wins some, I win some. I usually win more than she does, but this question coming from Lil Jimmy 001 says, I need advice, how can a thick guy get a girlfriend? I need to know for science. Ozzy man, just be yourself. Any you got any advice for him? Um well, I'm really into playing guys. Just be yourself. Don't be someone you're not. Don't be a douchebag. All right, this one coming from Tony Small World. How did it feel to see each other for the first time? Mm. I was really super duper excited. I wasn't nervous at all. I remember like when you were picking me up from the airport, I was just like super like stoked to see him. I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to like give him a hug. Like, and then when I seen him, I was like, I was like super excited. I think you were nervous though. You think I was nervous? Weren't you nervous? What do you mean I wasn't nervous? I, was probably, I mean, I was a little bit nervous just because, I mean, I'd never like met up with someone on the internet like one on one before. You know, I meet all these people at these events that I talk to and I see them like in a, in a public setting. I've never just met up with someone one on one. Um, so, I mean, I was definitely nervous, but also excited at the same time because, like, me and her, like, like she said, we, we had been friends like months before yeah. we started dating. Uh, and we started like talking on FaceTime and shit like that. So, it was just, I don't know. It was, it was a good experience. Uh, this one coming from DV Lux. What's the best and worst thing of Sharp? Um, um, I love her sense of humor because one, like, not that many people can like make me like genuinely laugh. 
too. He's like really, really, really caring. Like really caring. Like he's such a sweetheart. I really love his personality. I think that's like one thing that I've always loved about him was his personality. I, I didn't know what he really looked like at first because he had like no pictures of himself on Twitter. <laughs> I had to creep really hard and then I was like, oh, he has an Instagram. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like his likes. He's like really tall in person too. When I first saw him at the airport, I was like, oh my god, is that him? And then like when we're standing next to each other, so I'm always like looking at both at him. I'm like, hi. <laughs> um, so I like how tall he is and hefty. <laughs> hefty, you like the heftiness. <laughs> uh, what about like the bad thing? Um, um, I'm sorry, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think there's a really a bad thing about short because, I mean, come on. Everyone knows he's such a sweetheart. There's gotta be at least one thing. You won't hurt my feelings. Oh. No? There's nothing. You can't no. think of anything? No. I mean, at least not now. Well, damn. What, you want me to say something? No, 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 okay. no. I mean, it said the best, it said the best and worst thing. I mean, you missed, you mentioned a bunch of best things, so there you go. I guess that's yeah. good. They didn't ask me about you, so I'm just kind of... <laughs> no, you need to ask me. You need to answer that too. This one coming from Arkini. If you could live or vacation anywhere in the world without worrying about money, where would you go and why? I want to hear both of your answers. Yeah, I don't really care too much about like where I live. I wouldn't want. I would never want to live like in a in a city. Like if it was like if I had to live downtown New York, I would not want to do that. If I had to live downtown LA, I wouldn't want to do that. But like, I could live in like the suburbs of LA. I could live in like. I could live in Florida, I could live in, I like Georgia, Georgia's nice, Kentucky's fine. So I'm not really picky about where, I'll, where I wanna live. Vacation? I've always wanted to go on a vacation to Bora Bora, just cause I like the water, I like the ocean, and that place just looks really fucking cool. Um, For me, I would have to say, if I were to live anywhere, that's kinda of hard because like I was like raised in the city. Um, It's like really hard for me to like leave the city even though it's like trash like even though it sucks it's traffic all the time i complain about it all the time but like it's just too hard like whenever i go visit somewhere else like outside of cali i'm just like damn i really miss my home um the weather's perfect i'm just so used to everything there like i know i know cali so well <laughs> my fucking stomach <laughs> oh that shit so loud <laughs> Okay, if you were to make <laughs> if you were to vacation somewhere, what would you um, vacation? I would want to go like somewhere really tropical, like Bahamas or some shit like that. Something like that, like something just like really tropical. Or I've also like always wanted to go to like a forest. I was telling him this the other day, like I've never been to forest, but that's really seem fun. I don't know why, I think that's like so cool. Visit a forest, like I really like the like aesthetic of like all the like green just like just the rain and like you know the sound of the rain and like the green leaves and everything i think it's pretty cool mm. she trying to get attacked by a fucking panther or some shit next one's coming from sneaky snake he says what is your dream vehicle my dream vehicle is probably like a basic car it's a g-wagon <laughs> like every girl wants a g-wagon <laughs> a g-wagon yeah i really like those cars yeah i mean honestly a dream vehicle I just have to go with the Lamborghini. Who the fuck is Corridos? It's like a like a genre of music, like a Spanish genre. Do you listen to Corridos? I do. Corridos! <laughs> this guy wrote you something in Spanish. Ultimate Tito. Que es lo que más te gusta <laughs> de este way. Like what I like the most about you. Oh. You already answered that. Did. How did you and Linda meet? Who made the first move? And do you mm. consider yourself a lucky dude for having her? How did, how did you and Linda meet? Uh, she already explained that. We met on Twitter. Uh, who made the first move? Uh, I mean, I DM'd her first, but I guess like when we were hanging out, she she made the first move. He's really shy. <laughs> you have to throw that in there. You had to throw that in there? All right. And do you consider yourself a lucky dude for having... Honestly, I consider her lucky for having me, you know? I, I mean, I guess I'm kind of lucky, but... Yeah, I think I'm the lucky one here, honestly. No, yeah, I, I do. I do consider myself lucky. I mean, I was gonna do it. I just I didn't know it was gonna happen that quick. I didn't want to make you uncomfortable. All right, this one coming from your Lupita. Uh, how does living far from each other affect your relationship? Um. So at first, I was like really like scared because I've never had a long distance distance relationship. 
It, it had been a month since we had like last seen each other. And throughout that whole month, it wasn't that hard at all. Like we FaceTime each other like basically every day. We call each other on the phone um, for hours. We, we um, go to sleep together on the phone. <laughs> um, so it's like, I mean, yes, we still miss each other, you know, our presence. But we still communicate a lot, so I think communication is like key for sure. Yes, it's complicated because like I miss him, he misses me, but you know I'll, I'll know I'll be visiting soon, so that's something to look forward to. But it's not it's not as as hard as I thought it would be. I agree. I think like I mean I don't get annoyed with talking to you, so mm -hmm. you're someone that I can I can talk to all the time, mm -hmm. so that makes it easier. But it's definitely. You know, there, there's times when, you know, you're like, damn, I wish this person was here, but... Yeah, I get emotional sometimes. You were here last month, you are here this month, you'll be here next month. I'll probably go there the month after that. Yeah. We're making it work, fool, shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one coming from Where Is My Bucket? It says, what sports do you enjoy watching? I only enjoy watching basketball, really. That's about it. I like watching basketball, too. And football. That's it. Just basketball and football. I don't watch anything else. I mean, there's not a specific team I go for, but that's... I, I like watching it for some reason. I really like... Like, if I go to a restaurant and there's, like, basketball, I get, like, really into it. Even if, even if it's, like, a team that's, like, you know, that no one cares about that much, I'm just like, okay, this is interesting. I like playing basketball, too. You like playing basketball? Mm -hmm. Do you ever play horse? 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 What's horse? You ever played horse? Where you, like, I shoot and you have to, like, do the exact same shot? If you miss, you get a letter. No, I'm gonna have to play one day. Uh, RZA underscore eminent asks, Qual? Qual oh, um, es tu cosa favorita para hacer juntos? Which means, like, what is our favorite thing to do together? Um. <laughs> okay. Oh. So, what's our favorite thing to do together? Um. Babe. <laughs> Um, our favorite thing to do together, I have to say, is like play video games. Yeah. Watch movies. Yeah. Eat. Yeah. Enjoy eating. Uh, this coming from Mecca. All right. This guy's been watching me forever, and he always asks me, "How the fuck do I say his name? How do you say that?" Macuatin. Macuatin. It's Spanish. Macuatin is it Spanish? It's Spanish, I think. Macuatin. I don't know. Macuatin. I just call him Mac because I, I don't know how to fucking okay. say his name, but. I don't know. He always asks me how to say that, and I'm like, this is some Spanish shit. What is your favorite Mexican dish? I think it's pozole. I love pozole. Pozole? Uh huh. I'm gonna check pozole. Ch Chimichangas. Quesadillas. Quesadillas. Uh, B. Franco13 wants to know Does Linda know how to cook? If so, what's your favorite dish to eat slash make? I mean, I think I like my favorite dish, something that like, I always cook, but it's like not really Mexican. Kind of Mexican is always chicken and rice, but I, I cook it with Mexican rice. Um, I made it for him once. Um, I also good. like I also like making a lot of like breakfast food. Uh, another one from RZA Eminent. She asks, "What is your favorite quality about the other person?" I mean, I feel like you already answered this. I know, yeah. You already answered this. So now, so now it's my turn. I mean, I I I like your sense of humor. I don't find a lot of I don't want to sound sexist, but I don't find a lot of women funny. Actually, I don't find a lot of people funny. It's hard to make me laugh, and. I don't know. We have the same sense of humor. You're easy to talk to. Uh, you don't get on my nerves. I like how short you are. I don't I think a lot of people like know how like big of a height difference people are. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm like six three, six four. She's five one. <laughs> so yeah. There's the height difference. I don't know. I like that we have common interests in, in like video games and, and types of movies, types of music. Like we listen to the same music. Yeah. I mean, obviously your looks. I I, I didn't say that, but I mean, shh, come on. I like how weird you are. I'm weird. You're weird. I when weird. I first saw your Twitter, I don't think you'd be weird, but you're weird. I like <laughs> Thank it. You. Yeah. Uh, Havoc Antics 1988 says, "How are you enjoying dating a Latina?" Uh, I'm not really into into spicy foods, but she literally puts like spice in her fucking water. <laughs> so. It's a thing. <laughs> it's spicy ice and spicy water and spicy. It's not, okay, it's not spicy water. It's like it's like watermelon water. With spice in it. So with like tahin on it. Come on. Tahin. Yes, tahin. I love tahin. Who the fuck's tahin? 
With a hairline of sharps, are you scared that if you have kids with him, they'll have that hairline? How do you feel about my hair? I mean, I like your hair when it's long. Your hairline, like, I guess it doesn't really bother me. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and not subscribe. Uh, check out Linda's Twitter down in the description. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't know when that's going to be, but <laughs> I'll see you there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what that one? I say this shit like it's a fucking, like, one of like out of the box or like fucking blues clues. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Have a great time. Why is that? Bye. Have a great time. <laughs>